Should your church use email or is it just plain dead? <laughs> I get this question a lot. Isn't email about the modern equivalent of the fax machine? Does anyone actually use email anymore? If we send one, will someone actually look at it? It isn't relevant anymore, is it? Well, let's peel back the onion and take a look at some data. Did you know that there are 4 billion daily email users? Four out of five marketers said they'd rather give up social media than email marketing. 74% of baby boomers think email is the most personal channel to receive communications from brands, followed by 72% of Gen X, 64% of Millennials, and 60% of Gen Z. 87% of B2B marketers say email is one of their top free organic distribution channels. And the single message autoresponder email can have an astonishing 98% open rate and a 37% click-through rate. 99% of email users check their inbox every day, with some checking 20 times or more a day. Of those people, 58% of consumers check their email first thing in the morning. The source of this data comes from HubSpot's ultimate list of email marketing stats for 2022. So, if you ask me, email should unequivocally be a steady part of your church's outreach efforts. I'll take it even one step deeper. I believe it should be a foundational part of your digital outreach. Let's keep going. We found that most churches do not have a regular email strategy, period. And where we have seen an email strategy, they're almost always geared towards members. We have yet to find a consistent email strategy focused on interests from any church before we started working with them. And this is a huge opportunity. Email can be a powerful communication channel to reach out to the interests and engage them in a very simple way. If your church has at some point captured a person's email address through a previous outreach effort, could have been an event or a Bible study request, etc., then you know that they have at least some level of interest. And this is huge. It's important that we remember to nurture those relationships. Why is email such an impactful channel? Number one, as we mentioned earlier, it's used by almost everyone. The first ever email was sent by Ray Tomlinson in the early 1970s, and since that time, email has grown to become one of the most used forms of communication out there. In fact, a HubSpot survey found that 91% of consumers use email. 91%! You will not find that high a percentage of people using any single social media channel. Number two, it's fast, personal, and discreet. Email gives the opportunity to share some information directly with a person, but in a way that is not disruptive to that person's day. It allows them to engage with the information at a time that's convenient for them. And depending on where someone is in their spiritual journey, they may not feel comfortable publicly following, commenting, or even participating by using social media. It's easy to measure. There are many technologies available that will help you track tricks of emails you You can easily measure the success of each and every one of them. How many people opened it? How many times they opened it? How many emails bounced? How many people clicked on an email? And in a future video, we're going to dedicate an entire one to understanding email statistics. Being able to easily see the people who are really engaging with your email content really helps a church identify the most interested people over time. Number four, it can be automated. There are many email technologies that allow you to develop and schedule emails ahead of time, even ones that allow for full email automation, where the right emails will be sent to the right person at the right time, in the right time zone, after they've taken a specific action, such as visiting a page on your website or registering for an event. Tools like this allow churches to develop the content once and then let technology go to the work to do the rest. And if done properly, it can have a tremendous impact. 
If your church doesn't have a strong email marketing strategy in place, then we highly recommend you begin to build one. Accomplishing this is about a lot more than just beginning to send emails for the sake of sending emails. Your email marketing strategy needs to be clearly defined to help you reach your goals. And it's important to remember that in the words of Matt Bloomberg, reaching the inbox isn't your goal, engaging people is. Successful emails inspire the recipient to take action, to do more than just skim over your content and then hit the delete button. You want them to actually engage with the content of your church's emails. And there are many types of emails that churches can and should be sending in order to constantly engage with their interests. Number one, a confirmation or an auto response email. Anytime an interested person makes a request or asks a question of your church, you should be sending an email to confirm the receipt of that request and set the proper expectation of when they can expect to hear from you in the future. Invitation or outreach emails. Anytime your church is having a special evangelistic event, a concert, a health-related event, you should absolutely be sending emails out to all of your interests to invite them to the event. This can be done um, one of the most effective ways to get the word out when you're having a big event. Number three, personal emails. These may be less likely to happen because they can't be automated but they are perhaps the most effective in driving a specific engagement due to their personal nature. These emails where you can let people know that they are missed, that you're praying for them, or even extend a personal invitation to a special event. Number four, recurring emails. This is the area that we recommend churches really focus on as it does not require the constant reinventing the wheel or development of new ideas. This is where you simply begin scheduling recurring invitations or reminders to things that are recurring in your church all the time. Things like inviting them to a Chin Church each week, sharing the Bible lesson for the week, advertising the weekly or monthly devotional from the pastor, inviting folks to prayer meeting, etc. Automated emails, number five. Automated emails are emails that are automatically sent based on some sort of activity. And with the proper planning, these emails can have a tremendous impact. They can be working 24 seven, can be triggered automatically based on specific types of actions. We'll have more on advanced automation and personalization in a future video. With a little thought and creativity, your church could come up with a thousand ideas to start reaching out to people more consistently in a very personal way. And that is a way that is way less expensive than just about every other outreach channel. So now that I've begun to explain why email is so important for a church to be using, in the weeks ahead, we'll begin to discuss how your church can begin to craft a successful email marketing strategy. We'll look at understanding email metrics and best practices for optimizing them, the components you need to build a successful email, how to drive people to take action from your emails, how to develop an email marketing strategy, how to develop recurring email content, how to use advanced email automation. Make sure you don't miss those future updates by subscribing. And if we can be of help, we'd love to work directly with your church. Just contact us and let's have a conversation. Until next time, this is Chris Dellen with Rethinking Evangelism.